and welcome to Faber Book Time! My name is Hannah Lee and I am the author of My Hair! Illustrated by Alan Fatimaharan. So, what did I want to be when I was younger? I wanted to be loads of different things all at once. I wanted to be an archaeologist because they dig and they explore and they find different things and I quite like history. I also wanted to be a pop star because they get to be on stage and sing and entertain people all the time. I wanted to be an actress because I love telling stories of my body and I love telling different stories. And I also wanted to be an author because I love writing stories too, as well as telling them with my actions. So I decided that archeology span wasn't for me and I couldn't be a pop star because I couldn't actually sing. So I've decided to stick with being an actress and being an author because those are ways that I can tell stories with my mind, with my body and with my words. And I've decided I really love those things. I'm going to stick with those things. And they're my favourite things to do. My Hair is a book about a little girl who is trying to figure out what hairstyle she's going to use for her birthday. So she looks at all the people around her, her family, her friends, and then she finally decides on a style that is right for her. Should we start reading? I think we should. My Hair, written by Hannah Lee, that's me, and illustrated by Alan Fatimaharan. My birthday is coming up so soon. I'll need new clothes to wear. But most of all, I need to know, how shall I style my hair? Let me do your hair, jokes daddy. I'm getting better, I swear. Mommy rushes in the room. Daddy, don't you dare. Off we go to the hairdressers to get it done professionally. As for what style I choose, you'll have to wait and see. Miss Dawn has lots of magazines just so you can get a clue of the kind of hairstyle that you would like to do. Whilst I'm looking through them, my imagination starts to grow. I start to think of all the hairstyles I already know. Mummy has the most dazzling dreadlocks. Such a joy to see them swing. I like to practice plaiting them. It is my favorite thing. My sister likes to experiment. There's not a look that she won't try. Bang two knots, a high top fade, braids. She's not shy. My brothers both have cornrows with different shapes, patterns and lines. They love to show them off at school yelling, come see the best designs. Daddy says, shove all over please when he sits in the barber's chair. His beard is shiny, curly and full. That's where he likes his hair. Can you do a beard at home? You do this. Ooh. Uncle has waves that are so smooth, swirling all over his head. He keeps his hair brushed and neat. Don't forget the do-rag before bed. Auntie's hair is shaved real short, much like the head of a lioness. She is so cool, stylish and carefree. That's how she likes it best. Can you do the sign of a lioness? Try a nice big roar. Baby cousin is so small. She hasn't much hair yet. Already it's begun to grow. She'll have loads soon, you can bet. Grandma's hair is short and cropped. There are many curls of gray. Can you do a curl of gray? She says she found one years ago and invited them all to stay. Invite them all to stay, say, come on, come on. Grandpa wears turbans, tie heads and scarves, his hair tucked away from his face. For Grandpa has so much hair, that's how he keeps it in place. Time to take a look at my friends and what styles they wear. After all, I still don't know how I'll style my hair. Ryan will have plaits with bows. Her mummy can do them fast. 
put a bonnet on, she says, to make the style last. Where's the bonnet in the picture? Where's the bonnet? Michael has a mohawk. Brandon has short back and sides. They go to the barbers together and chat while the cutter nah, glides. Can you do a cutter gliding? Can you do this? Nah. Nina is my best friend. What style? She asks with a pout. I want to try something new. Maybe a twist out? cries Miss Dawn. What will you do with your hair? Time to let Mummy decide. Don't you think that's fair? So Mummy whispers in my ear, whisper, and that's exactly when I know the hairstyle that I will wear will be my afro. I love my afro when it's out. So big and great and free. My daddy says it is my crown. Put a crown on your head. It defies gravity. A creation to which none could compare. I'm so glad it's mine. I love my hair. I love my hair. And you say at home too. I love my hair. Wow. Thank you so much for reading with me. And I hope you'll stick a picture of your hair at the back there. Or you might want to draw one. What is your favorite hairstyle? Who has the funkiest hair in your house? What hairstyle do you like to see on other people? I really hope you enjoyed this reading of my hair. What are you going to read next? Don't be afraid to let me know. See you later. Hello. My name's Alan Patamaharan and I'm the illustrator of My Hair by Hannah Lee. This was the very first picture book I got to illustrate and it was such a joy to come up with all the characters based on Hannah's writing. Um, there's so much variety in the characters and I also loved getting to draw such a variety of hairstyles as well, which is great. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about how we draw the main character from the book. Okay, let's go. Okay, to begin with, we take our pencil and we draw very lightly simple shapes to outline the character. A circle for the head, a circle for the ears, a rectangle for the neck, a big triangle for the dress, long rectangles for the legs, little rectangles for the feet with semicircles at the end for the toes, rectangles for the arms. Now we draw the eyes, draw the nose, the mouth, we draw where she's looking. Now we outline the shapes we draw lightly by pressing harder with the pencil. First the dress, the arms, Now we draw some shoes onto the feet. Now we add a stripy pattern to the leggings. Now we add lots of butterfly patterns onto the dress. Now we outline the face, add some eyebrows. Now we add the details to a hairband. Now we draw simple shapes very lightly for the hair.
Now we start shading in some of the shadows. Now we add the texture of the hair. Now we do a similar process to draw the cat, an upside down triangle for the whiskers, a circle for the head, add some triangles for the ears, a big triangle for the body, some rectangles for the legs and feet, another oval for the back leg which is squished, uh, draw the eyes, the nose, And now we start outlining the drawing. The whiskers. Add a pattern to the face. And we outline the rest of the body. Draw the paws, now the tail, big fluffy tail, now we add some patterns on the tail, add some shading, some shadows, and finally we add some tone, and there's our drawing. Thanks for tuning in. I um, hope you enjoyed this episode of Faber's Storytime. I um, hope you found that inspiring and I, I hope it inspires you to draw your own characters as well and come up with characters um, that you would like to draw too. Um, have a great day and fun drawing. Bye!